another video literature review uh, uh, this is the second chapter of my thesis and uh, usually the second chapter is basically a literature review and sometimes people write literature survey both are the same word but using uh, different people so sometimes people directly raise question that there is no need of introduction in the uh, uh, chapter 2 or it at the beginning of the every chapter every chapter has to be right like a full paper for example introduction and there is a body and conclusion so uh, look now here uh, the introduction of this literature review for instance if you read my introduction so you will get a full idea about the full chapter this is this is the this is the history this is the rationale behind writing introduction as i explained before that the abstract the introduction these are the separate entity but it gives the full information the full uh, knowledge about what are you doing in the body or in the in the report or in your thesis so this is the literature review uh, chapter second chapter and you are now writing introduction of that literature review so this introduction let's see how it is going to uh, explain about the whole chapter uh, uh, of this literature review so how i start this chapter presents a brief history of photovoltaics particularly disensitized solar cell an overview of the working principle of disensitized solar cell its various material components and the progress made in snu 2 photo unit based disensitized solar cell let me explain this very well that my work is basically on 10 oxide photo unit. this is my especially my phd uh, topic was the snu 2 photo anode now this photo anode is basically i am using in disensitized solar cell and disensitized solar cell is the part of photovoltaics so photovoltaics i have to explain little bit about photovoltaics as well and after that i have to talk about generally disensitized solar cell the working principle and various material components for instance disensitized solar cell is made of main four components that is the working electrode or photoanode the dye the electrolyte and the counter electrode my work is basically on photoanode so basically this is look i am doing the literature so i explain first the photovoltaic then a particularly disensitized solar cell and the working principle and the various material components of a disensitized solar cell and finally i just made the progress made in photo anode sno2 photo anode and based disensitized solar cell look this is what i want my reader that if my reader want to know about my uh, contribution he or she must know about the photovoltaics and particularly disensitized solar cell and its various material components so this i just give the overview to him or her that this is what all about is the section on sno2 based disensitized solar cell elaborates its fundamental property then i am working on sno2 photo and disensitized solar cell i am telling the people some of the property of this material such as crystal structure, effective mass, electron mobility, isoelectric points, and its advantages, advantages were other metal oxide semiconductor. You see, in this whole uh, literature review chapter, I am just giving that SNO2 based disenterial cell seal, the fundamental property of this material, why I am using this material, why I choose on this material so its crystal structure its effective mass isolated and its advantages and disadvantages over other material so let's see your literature review if it is you, you can also put tables here and take this table from other people because you when you take this tables from other people you are basically uh, giving uh, credit to them you are gives giving uh, references of them you see here so this is not an plagiarism he explained disensitized solar cell i use a counter electrode then i come to 10 oxide is a photo unit and disensitized solar cell you see here 
this is all about this is i made tables and i uh, give the references that uh, how people done work using this material this is all about you see here coarsel photo you know different types of photo you notes know, i explain and finally i conclude my chapter 2 so you have to conclude your chapter 2 so uh, you see in conclusion this is the different way i explain what i uh, read all about and the literature in what i put that i just give the summary the 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 the, the brief uh, summary of the whole literature in the conclusion so i hope now you understand how to write a literature review and literature review as much as information you can put if your information are more so it will be a good uh, literature you must need to have large number of references in your literature if you read as many as papers that is beneficial you will get more and depth in your research and you can convince some that you uh, somebody say oh come on you know he studied a lot of literature he has studied a lot of survey now he is a full confidence on him how to defend his work thanks for watching